24 hours later and it still feels like a dream. A dream that started out as a nightmare. You know, I'm not a fan of bugs, but football, yes. And we'll begin with a 4A battle within the confines of Fran Rich Stadium. Terry Annie, if you can hurry up and get down here, these bad boys will run out. $10 a piece, Chihuahua Champs in Pasco. Ask Jay Frank to keep that thunder and lightning at bay just for a little bit longer so that we can get this game going. The perfect season has come to an end. The previously undefeated Richland Bombers experienced their first loss in over a year. Well, the last time it was sleepless in Seattle, the headliners were Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan. <laughs> we're about 35 minutes from kickoff, the Blue Devils and the Bombers, not just once, but twice. And if you want to know what that sounds like, just stand next to a jet engine. Head coach Steve Graff, he tells it like it is. So when I asked him, what's it going to take to beat an undefeated Camus team? For tonight's invincible play of the day, we went political. Now, it seems Toronto Mayor Rob Ford just can't seem to get out of the headlines or news. And for good reason, considering his antics. But now, he can't even escape our sports block. Now, are you talking about the same Kamiakin squad that has gone on to the state semis two out of the last three years? We haven't seen the sun for most of the day, but you can guarantee we will see the suns tonight as they take on the undefeated Kamiakin Braves here at Lampson Stadium. Teams, two coaches of the year and two programs looking for their first state title. Day two of the basketball state championships here in Tacoma and for the Richland Bombers, so far, so good. You know, after the turnover we had, I thought, you know, we're, we're going to lose. I actually sat down because I knew they made it and I was like, ah, oh, crap. And then it sat there on the rim and just didn't fall down. Ten seconds remaining in the fourth tied at 65. The Prosser Mustangs had a chance to upset the second ranked team in 2A at home. But a Mustang turnover gives the Greyhounds a golden opportunity to end it in regulation. What seems like an easy layup turns into the most bizarre non-buzzer beater ever seen. I call it the Haley's Comet shot. I've been around basketball since I was two years old, and I have never seen anything like that. It was a finish most have and will never see, and one that could not be replicated. There's no way. Yeah, there's pretty much no way. Even weeks after it happened, it has become customary now for the Mustangs to start practice trying to replicate the shot. Oh yeah, we try every day in practice, and it doesn't happen. So I took it upon myself to show them how it's done. Easy as that. Come on, boys. Let's try again. Sure, it took a ladder and a few tries to get it to sit still, but it still works. Now, as we were filming, kids said they were able to get it to sit on the rim while we weren't looking, only to find out it was because the ball was flat. And that just doesn't count. One of those things I'll never forget. And I hope the kids never forget also. Now, it may be hard to forget, thanks to Case and Blair uploading it to YouTube. The play has been viewed over two million times, and it even made Sports Center's not top ten list. Again, the ball doesn't come down. What's a ruling on this? Can we get a ruling, please? The ruling would be no basket, sending the game into overtime. Now Grandview did win, but it didn't stop the chatter in Prosser. Yeah, that's pretty much all everybody was talking about. I mean, they all were like, "Oh my gosh, it's on TV!" Everybody was telling us that it's on these different websites that we've never heard of. It's got Prosser in the national spotlight, which is always good for a team and a town. And that spotlight is as rare and bright as Haley's Comet. Vince Sapienza, Action News. Well, the basketball buzz couldn't be any bigger around the undefeated Richland Bombers as they march toward a state title in Tacoma. But one basketball player from Richland is starting his own march. Well, it's more of a role. At age 11, current Richland High School junior Asante Foner was diagnosed with transverse myelitis, a neurological disorder that affects the spinal cord, paralyzing him from the waist down and restricting him to a wheelchair. But the now 17-year-old has not allowed that to keep him from doing what he loves. Asante Foner loves basketball. I, I guess, I guess I married it. <laughs> I love it that much. Before his disease, Asante was as active as any 11-year-old could be, playing football, baseball, and of course, basketball. But after his diagnosis, Asante admits he went through depression, not wanting to even leave his house, until he discovered parasport. It took a lot to convince Asante to be a part of sports and to open up these doors that for him. 
Teresa Skinner was one of the resources for Asante. She's the head of Paris Sports Spokane, as well as the USA Olympic coach for wheelchair track and field. Wheelchair basketball, it helped me a lot. And I just have a smile on my face all the time. With no wheelchair basketball league in the Tri-Cities, Asante has to travel to Spokane every weekend just to play. But he and his family say that the drive and time are worth it. I don't want like to sit on the sidelines. I hate it. It's boring. I can't do that. And neither did I. The team allowed me to participate in some of their drills just to see how difficult the game can be. But it didn't come without a warning. That was not a good pass. A lot of aggressive. Like, you see, you hear chairs banging. You hear people falling. You see a lot, you hear a lot of yelling. Yeah, it's supposed to be incidental contact, but it is intense. They do go up on one wheel reaching for things. They do fall over. Now, I didn't fall over, but I was far from good. Struggling just to keep up, I did manage a basket, but they said I traveled. Oh, yeah! But for these athletes, all they want to do is have fun. Now, away from the court, doctors tell Asante there's a 50-50 chance he can walk again. He likes his odds. And I can do that, and I can probably get that 50 chance. But even if I don't, it doesn't really matter to me because I can still have fun with life. And for Asante, his message is clear. Whether your life is on your feet or in a chair, everyone should get to experience it. An athlete is an athlete. It doesn't matter if he's in a chair or she's in a chair or they have one leg missing, they have anything that's wrong with them. They, they're still an athlete. 290 feet. Though unrecorded, that's the distance of the longest dirt-to-dirt -dirt jump ever made. And it was Alex Harville's newest conquest. It's hard because this is all sand. And it's hard because of the runway isn't the smoothest. It's rough. Many locals call Alex the next evil Knievel. Knievel was known for his outrageous stunts and stomach churning crashes, but Alex is adamant about blazing his own trail. He was way crazier than I am, had different machinery. It's, you can't even compare. Set my own dynasty, I guess, breaking my own records, doing it my own way. In May of 2012, the Afraida native set the mark for the longest jump on flat level ground. And today, after his fourth try, Alex made history. Pro Alex as soon as I hit and halfway through the takeoff, I knew I was going to be set. So I was all. Alex! After three tries of sub 290 foot attempts, on his fourth try, Alex landed at an official 297.55 feet. It's going to be great to have uh, it's all official and no one can say anything that. Uh, it's all well documented. At only 20 years old, Alex says he's a racer first, but he isn't content with only two world records. I'm just going to chase more world records, you know. I'm going to find uh, different different ones, you know. I'm going to go away from dirt and ramp and find something cool to do, something, jump over something or, uh, you know, who knows. I mean, the possibilities are endless. The talk all week at Augusta National has been the play of 20-year-old Jordan Spieth and his pursuit to become the youngest player since Tiger Woods to win the Masters. But the wily vet Bubba Watson has already one green jacket in his closet, looking for another today. Start on the fourth hole and maybe the shot of the day. Spieth at six under, hanging out on the beach, chips out, gets the bounce, and makes that birdie fly up the leaderboard three strokes ahead. Go to the ninth now. Watson trying to storm back, bends this putt like Beckham on a soccer field, finds the bottom of the cup and moves to the top of the leaderboard. Move it to 12. Spieth, a shot off Watson, goes for gold with his tee shot, but just a bit short, and it would roll all the way back into the water. He would bogey the hole, opening the door for Bubba to putt for the win on 18, and he tap, 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 ruse it, finishing eight under on the day, his second Masters championship in three years. To win twice, to be with the, the, the great names that you just said, um, you know, again, small town guy named Bubba now has two green jackets. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty wild. Um, I know my mom's probably watched at home, wish she was here, but, um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool to say the least. Now it'll probably be late summer before the AL West is decided, but the Mariners have shown early on they're contenders. And today was a chance for Seattle to take back the division lead. 
Mariners in a Game 3 rubber match with Oakland. Am's Chris Young looking good in his first start. Pitches six scoreless frames, allowing just four hits, striking out two, including that K to end the fourth. Now this game would stay scoreless into the eighth. Into the eighth, Charlie Furbush in relief, and that's when Oakland strikes. Jonas Cespedes smacks a two-run homer, his second on the year, pushes the A's on top, and they would not let go thereafter. There was no easy swing for Seattle, just three hits in this one. They fall three to nothing. To the college ranks, Washington State in a rubber match of their own with the Beavers. The Cougs, Jason Monda has a rough one on the bump today. Dylan Davis takes his pitch to right. That brings home Michael Conforto. Monda gave up four runs through just five innings. The Beavers, Jace Fry, on the other hand, with an eight-inning three-hit gem. But getting a lot of help from his outfield, Jeff Hendricks, Robin Luke Stratton with a diving grab. Wazoo still scoreless. And OSU would continue to pile it on late. Conforto, a two RBI single here. And the Beavers take the series with an eight to one win. And the Huskies looking for the sweep at home against the Stanford Cardinal. But four first inning runs for Stanford would be all they would need as they hand UW their, their first loss in five games, six to three, your final. Well, panic mode is in full effect for the Tri-Cities fever. Four straight losses have the fever looking up in the standings. And the Houston Lillard experiment so far, no good. Fever on the road in Colorado today in what Adam Shackelford called a must win earlier this week. But it was bad news from the opening drive. Lillard picked off three times and sacked twice by the ice defense. Colorado's Willie Copeland accounted for five touchdowns on the day. And the fever dropped their fifth straight 55 to 28. Now it's called the invincible play of the day, but we're going to go back a bit for this one. Now we've all been to sports games or events where there's been that one obnoxious person who's constantly standing, yelling, keeping you from seeing and enjoying the game you're watching. Well, you're not the only one that gets upset. Apparently, players don't like it as well. Final minutes of a tied game between the Canadians and Blue Jackets when this woman decides to hit the glass, but instead the glass hits her back. A perfectly timed hockey check sends this woman flying back into her seat. Here's a slow-mo version of it for you. I was laughing so hard all day just re-watching this one over and over, and it made me happy, and I'm sure it made uh, the fans that are sitting behind her happy as well. So with that, we make it. With that, we'll make that the invincible play of the day.